Hey there, coding enthusiasts. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an exciting project lined up for you, something that's not only fun but also a great way to sharpen your programming skills. We're diving into creating a classic game of Hangman, but this time, we'll be building it using C-sharp and WinForms. So, grab your favorite beverage, and let's get started. One moment. He looks just like me. There's no way I can present that. Unbelievable. I'm getting out of here, let the penman give the presentation. Penman come here and take over for me. I'll get out of here and prepare the next video. Feel free to write in the comments which topic interests you. The most important thing is that it's not about hangman. Hmm okay. Now I've got a faster gig than I wanted after all. Oh well. Then I'll try to rescue the video. So the topic is programming the classic hangman game. Here we go. Why hangman? Well, hangman is a simple yet fascinating game that teaches a lot about logic, string manipulation, and handling user input. Plus, it's a great way to practice working with forms and event-driven programming in C-sharp. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a fully functional hangman game that you can expand and customize further. Before we write any code, we need to create the environment in which our hangman game will live. This starts with setting up a new project in Visual Studio. Open Visual Studio, select, create a new project, and choose, Windows Forms app as the template. Name your project something like, Hangman Game, and hit, create. This sets the stage for building a desktop application with a graphical user interface, GUI, which is much more engaging than a console application. Now that the project is set up, we need to design the interface where players will interact with the game. The key elements are A label, this will display the word the player is trying to guess, but initially, it will show underscores for each letter. A text box, this is where the player will enter their guesses. A button, this will submit the player's guess. A picture box, this will visually represent the hangman, progressing as the player makes incorrect guesses. Drag and drop these controls onto your form. Position the label at the top so that it clearly shows the word, in the form of underscores. Place the text box and button below the label, and reserve some space for the picture box on the side. A well-organized UI is crucial for user experience. By placing elements where users naturally look, we make the game more intuitive and fun to play. Let's dive into the Hangman game code step by step, exploring not just the mechanics but also the reasoning behind each part. This will give you a comprehensive understanding of how the game works and make it easier for you to expand and modify it in the future. Now let's dive into the C-sharp code that makes this game tick. We start by choosing a word for the player to guess. Create a list of words from which the game will randomly choose. We'll use the random class to pick one of these words each time the game starts. Random word selection adds an element of surprise and replayability to the game. The player won't know what to expect, making it more challenging and engaging. To display the word as underscores, we initialize a char array with underscores. But here's the twist, we add spaces between the underscores to make it easier for the player to see how many letters there are. Showing spaces between the underscores is a small but significant enhancement. It gives the player a clearer visual of the word's length, reducing any confusion and improving the gameplay experience. Every time the game starts, a random word will be selected from this list. The label we added earlier will display underscores for each letter in the word. With our improvement we can also see how many letters we have for the word. 
Now that the word is set up and displayed, it's time to bring the game to life by handling the player's guesses. The main interaction in Hangman is guessing letters. When the player types a letter into the text box and clicks the button, the program checks if the letter is in the word. This logic ensures that every guess is processed correctly. If the guess letter is in the word, it replaces the corresponding underscore. If not, the player gets closer to losing, as we'll see next. If the player guesses incorrectly, we update the hangman image to reflect the mistake. This is done in the update hangman image method, which changes the picture box image based on the number of incorrect guesses. For our update method we still need a few suitable images that we can use. We can then load these into our project resources and use them in the code. I still have a few from my buddy's last family celebration. A little joke. Visual feedback is crucial in games. It keeps the player engaged and provides a clear, immediate consequence for wrong guesses. This makes the game more interactive and suspenseful. Finally, the game needs to end when the player either wins by guessing the word or loses by reaching the maximum number of incorrect guesses. If the player correctly guesses all the letters, the game displays a congratulatory message and can either reset or close. If they lose, the game reveals the word and can also reset or close. Ending the game properly is as important as starting it. Whether the player wins or loses, providing a clear conclusion helps wrap up the experience and invites the player to try again. With the basic game in place, you're in a fantastic position to customize and expand. Here are a few ideas. Add more words, expand your word list to include more categories or difficulty levels. Hints, implement a hint system where the player can get a clue at the cost of an extra incorrect guess. Score system, add a score that tracks how many games the player has won or lost. Themes, change the hangman images and background to create different themes for your game. And there you have it, a complete hangman game built using C Sharp and Win Forms, explained in detail. Each part of this project not only serves a purpose but also opens the door to further enhancements. The game is more than just code, it's a canvas for creativity, a challenge for your problem-solving skills, and, most importantly, a fun project that can bring joy to others. Happy coding!